Okay, so in the yesterday's episode, we did work on this behavior tree and the AI controller and we used that AI controller for this BP third person NPC character class and we still didn't implement any final, any of the be, uh, behavior tree tasks we just created this tree and set up the blackboard to observe how the decision making happens based on the back blackboard keys we set from the AI controller. Right now it's time to implement the actual tasks. So what should be the first thing we should try? I think we should start from here. So in the night time the character should go to sleep. And I have already implemented that in the behavior in the blueprint here this sleep custom event so basically what we need to do is get one of the beds and check if it is available if yes we can move to that bed and then we can sleep on it basically that's what needs to happen okay so for that now let's create a new task i'll create a new folder here okay, tasks i'll call it t sleep T stands for task, but uh, usually we use T for texture, so I'll use BTT stands for behavior trait task. Okay, let's save it and it opens here automatically. Now we have at event under AI event receive execute AI right now first thing we need to do is uh, get in an available bed so we already have the beds of array here so if we can just simply talk to the third person character blueprint we can get an available bed either that or we will have to use this same function I implemented here this same code I implemented here to find out a bed in the runtime but since I am using this get all actors with interface it clearly says do not use every frame this is a slow operation used with caution so i think it's it would be better if i simply call to the character blueprint and get an available bit so let's set up an interface mm. We already have this BPI character. Perhaps let's use this. Get available bed. And this should return one actor reference. Now uh, 
here. Did I compile this? Okay, yeah. Don't we implement it? PI character, yes. So we can overwrite. Oh, we already have it. Get available bed. So we have the beds. For let's run a forage loop, and then we can check is available. We can check if the bed is available. So if yes, uh, wait. We should use a loop with break. Yes, so. right now if this is true we can break this and return it so, uh, let me promote to local variable i'll call it available bit And we should mark it as occupied. Wait. What's the function I used? Mark as occupied. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, and then break. Right after that. We should return it. The available bed. Okay. Now, here we have control form. So, can call get available bed. And if we get a valid bit, we can pretty much use the rest of the code that we already have, which is this AI move to. And so this is the interactable object. So I'll Promote to a variable tractable object and then AI move to no we can Drag a line from control four and call AI move to and give target as this bed. This bed has the target. I have 70 as the target radius, acceptance radius. So I'll keep the same that worked before. Oh wait, this is not world context object. This is the form reference 
Now, if we succeed moving there, we should call this a start interaction on the bit. So let's test that part. Interacting character is the control for. Let's see if this part works. We need to call this task from here. Tasks BTT sleep. Now we are in daytime, so I'll switch to night time to test this behavior. Yeah, it's working. Stay calm and sleep. Indefinitely. Because we haven't implemented getting up part yet. Okay. Right. Now, when it becomes the daytime, uh, once it went to sleep, the character should stand up and resume working so how do we do that so in the blueprint the way i have handled this i simply check continuously like in a loop if it is data i think i can do the same here mm. is there a better way to do that here, let's add a new variable in the type of blackboard key selector. Uh, what's the blackboard name I'm using for data? Yeah. I'll use the name, same name, data, and make it public. So now from the behavior tree, I can assign this daytime key. I can select anything, but I need to pass daytime. Right now, inside here, I can have a delay of let's say five seconds. Have a branch. Can get this daytime key selector and get uh, get blackboard value as bool. Then, if it is daytime, if this is true, that means it is daytime. So that means I should end interaction. I should. It's time to wake up. If not, we will simply have to wait. So, check back in another 5 seconds if it is morning. Yeah, let's go finish execute with the success okay now to make it easier for testing I'll set the starting time to something like 4 in the morning so it will become 
sun will rise quickly right now they are sleepy let me speed up the time a little bit They should wake up at 6. Okay, sunrise. See, they are waking up. Okay, so since I haven't implemented any work behaviors yet, they are just simply stay like this. So once I implement the working behaviors, they should start doing some work, but I will do that in next episode. So if I continue to wait until the sunset, they should again go back to sleep. Let's test that too. Let me speed up the time so that we can test it quickly. Forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 15, 16, 17 Okay, it's sunset, see? They are going back to sleep Cool Alright, so the system is working as intended And thanks for watching As always, project files will be available for download in the Patreon page Link would be in the description below And if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the Patreon card. See you in another episode. Goodbye.